In this video, we'll be looking at a variety of translation problems. Here we're given two points, 8, negative 7, followed by 6, negative 11. And looking at the relationship between the x values, we notice that 8 becomes 6, which is a reduction by 2. And looking at the y values, negative 7 gets reduced as well by a factor of, or a component of negative 4. So from looking at the x's and the y's independently, we can come up with a pattern for these values. Writing this as a rule would say that x, y becomes x take away 2, or x minus 2, comma y minus 4. So that's the relationship between the two given points. It then says find the coordinates of negative 3 8 under the same translation. So all we're going to do now that, we, now that we've identified the pattern between the two given points is to apply that pattern to the point uh, negative 3, 8. I think I wrote negative 3, uh, negative 8. I'll, I'll fix that typo here. Sorry, negative 3, 8. So take away 2 from the x value and take away 2 from the y value, as was sort of hidden in the pair of points, and you get negative 5, comma, 4. And that's the answer. We can confirm this by making a quick graph. So just a very rough estimate, not the exact to scale graph. But if we plot 8, negative 7, it's going to be in the fourth quadrant, roughly there. And let's call that point A, and then the, the transformation of A would be A prime. So uh, 8, negative 7 is turned into 6, negative 11, which would be graph roughly there. And we can notice that this is a downward and leftward change and if we apply the same thing to b we expect b prime to also be down to the left of of b and uh, you'll notice that negative 5 comma 4 is further to the left and not quite as high as point b another translation problem here we're given one point and then the rule by which that point was or with which that point was created that rule was write five units, which is to say x plus five, x parameter being right and left, and down three, so y minus three, again y being up and down. So we don't know what the input is, but we know that it follows this rule, x plus five and y minus three. And coming out of this rule is the point negative 11 comma negative three. So all we have to do is to figure out, sort of working backwards, what was the point prior to this transformation? Determine the pre-image coordinates. So x plus 5 somehow creates negative 11. So if we just solve this simple equation, x plus 5 equals negative 11, take away 5, uh, and you get x equals negative 16. Likewise, y minus 3 creates a negative 3. And solving this equation, you end up getting y equals those would cancel as well, giving you y equals 0. So you'll notice here that essentially what happens is we do the opposite of the red and the blue rules. We added 5 and we, um, sorry, we took away 5 and we added a 3 because we're working backwards here. Uh, we can check our answer by just doing that to the given points and you'll see that negative 16 plus 5 is negative 11 and 0 take away 3 and the blue there is minus 3. A quick graph may help to confirm this as well. Once again, not, not to scale, but just a you know, rough estimate as to what's happening. Let's see. Didn't quite draw this grid perfectly, but uh, it'll work. Uh, negative 11, negative 3 will be way far over here on the um, left-hand bottom quadrant, the third quadrant. And we're moving right five spaces and down three spaces. So. Working backwards, we go left 5 and up 3 to end up with the original point. And the original point looks like negative 16, 0 would work. Because that would take you right 5 to negative 11, and then down 3 to negative 3. Hope this helps.